In this video, I'm going to show you the two different ways that you can import data. One is through the main screen using either a CSV or Excel file. And the second one is using the advanced setting option. From the main screen, you can see the option to import from Excel. Or if you select the drop down, you can see the option to import from CSV. Select the option to start your data import process. Keep in mind that if you've chosen the import from Excel, make sure that the file that you're importing is Excel. If you've selected import from CSV, make sure the file that you're importing is CSV. If your Excel or CSV file has any duplicate data that you wish to import, make sure you toggle the Allow Duplicates button. Otherwise, review the mapping to make sure that all the fields are going to be mapped accurately to the fields that are mapped to the entity in Dynamics 365. Once you've mapped your fields, click Finish Import. Note that sometimes you may not need to map every single field. Make sure the primary fields are being mapped correctly, and you can choose to ignore the optional fields. Once you have finished the import, you can now track to see how far the import process has come along. In order to do so, go to the advanced setting option. Under the advanced setting, you're going to hit data management and go to imports. In this screen, you're going to see all your imports. Notice how the recent import has been completed. There's a second alternative to importing your data via CSV or Excel. Select Import Data to start your process. Once you've selected your file, hit Submit. In the screen, you can see the status of your import. Notice that you can also see the successes, partial failures, and any errors that may have occurred during the import of the file. You can select each import file and, and get the full rundown of any successes, partial failures, or errors, which you can fix and re-import once you've made those changes. It is important to know that you should only import what is being changed. Make sure to remove any other data that does not need to be changed from the files. If you enjoyed this video, click like below and subscribe to our channel. If you would like to be notified of new videos that we post, click the bell icon next to subscribe. If you'd like to learn more about what we do, or if you'd like some help with Microsoft Dynamics, Power Apps, or Power BI, please visit netwoman.com.